concussion has a, a, a wide range of symptoms, but there are, there are physical signs that you might see, such as loss of consciousness. Uh, there are uh, you know, amnesia, so not remembering what's going on. Uh, there are behavioral things, uh, people uh, you know, being appropriate in a sense, uh, uh, but, uh, but acting differently. Uh, so being more irritable, uh, uh, emotional ability, uh, there are there are a variety of things, um, e even you know delayed. So the next day, uh, uh, change in your sleep pattern. There, there's just a lot of different aspects to it. It's not just uh, you know the typical uh, have a headache and you feel dizzy, uh, which certainly happen and can be important uh, factors. But really, any any number of these signs and symptoms that that go together. Uh, around the time of a head injury, whether they start immediately or, or even start a few hours later, are all important uh, things to consider. That people ought not return to the activity, w whether it's that day or in a week, if their symptoms haven't fully resolved and they've passed some sort of test. So we, we tend to uh, get people back into activities now in a, in a graded or stepwise fashion. So there'll be some sort of tests that you have to pass uh, to see if you're okay to go back to, to that same activity where you got injured. That there are ways uh, that we could evaluate that right then and there, uh, and that that ought to be incorporated into uh, uh, the the sport and the uh, and the team and the, and, and the side what you know things that go on, on the sidelines. That's really part of it now. That's not just a, a luxury to have that. That's that's should be part of it, uh, and that helps assess. Uh, you know, not only can they go back in the game, but do they need to go see the doctor immediately or could it be done in a few days? Do they need to go to the hospital and have scans done? Uh, so that it can vary. That a concussion uh, is, uh, is something that they can happen again and if it happens repeatedly you can be at higher risk of permanent damage. But there really is a uh, risk of, uh, of more significant injury. It's not just, uh, you know, shake it off and you'll be fine. There really are uh, injuries uh, going on and there are things that uh, we can do uh, to help people recover and to help minimize their chance of a future problem. Uh, so just, uh, I think education is a big part of it. And then hopefully uh, on an organized, uh, you know, uh, level, th there'll be uh, people there that are doing the appropriate things.